a main and now a category for hurricane. Here is the advisory for Hurricane Hamena. There are no coastal watches or warnings in effect. At 2 a.m. or 0900 UTC, the center of Hurricane Hamena was located near latitude 12.3 north, longitude 124.8 west. Hamena is moving toward the west near 9 miles per hour, 15 kilometers per hour. A west-northwestward motion with an increase in forward speed is expected to begin later today and continue through the weekend. Maximum sustained winds have increased to near 150 miles per hour, 240 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. A main is a category 4 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Additional strengthening is forecast during the next 24 hours and Hamain is expected to be near Category 5 strength later today and Sunday. The hurricane is forecast to start a weakening trend on Monday. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 30 miles 45 kilometers from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 115 miles 185 kilometer. The estimated minimum central pressure is 938 millibars 27.70 inches. None. Next complete advisory at 8 a.m. Kilo reaches hurricane strength. Here is the 11 p.m. advisory for Hurricane Kilo. At 11 p.m., the center of Hurricane Kilo was located near latitude 17.8 north, longitude 173.3 west. This is about 260 miles west-northwest of Johnston Island, or about 765 miles south-southeast of Midway Island, or about 1030 miles west-southwest from Honolulu, Hawaii. Kilo is moving toward the west-northwest near 9 miles per hour. The track will gradually curve toward the northwest over the next 48 hours. Maximum sustained winds are near 75 miles per hour, with higher gusts. Gradual strengthening is forecast. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 30 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 115 miles. The estimated minimum central pressure is 985 millibars, 29.09 inches. Large surf along north and northwest facing shores and reefs of Johnston Island will gradually subside tonight and Saturday. The next complete advisory will be issued at 5 a.m. Ignacio tracking northwest and drawing closer to Hawaii. Here is the 11 p.m. advisory for Hurricane Ignacio. Interests in the main Hawaiian Islands should continue to closely monitor the progress of Ignacio. A wash may be required for portions of the main Hawaiian Islands on Saturday. At 11 p.m., the center of Hurricane Ignacio was located near latitude 15.7 north, longitude 146.0 west. This is about 660 miles east-southeast of Hilo, Hawaii, or about 870 miles east-southeast of Honolulu, Hawaii. Ignacio is moving toward the west-northwest near 9 miles per hour and this general motion is expected to continue the next couple of days. Maximum sustained winds are near 90 miles per hour, with higher gusts. Some strengthening is forecast over the next day or so, followed by a slow weakening trend which is expected to begin on Sunday. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 30 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 80 miles. The estimated minimum central pressure is 974 millibars, 28.77 inches. Large swells generated by Ignacio will begin to arrive along east and southeast facing shores of the main Hawaiian Islands over the next several days. Resultant surf will be large and potentially life-threatening, especially on the Big Island late this weekend and early next week. The next complete advisory will be issued at 5 a.m. This is No Weather Radio WWG 75 in Mount Alcala. Very warm and humid conditions will continue to spread.